I'm often asked about, hey, which doe should I shoot come hunting season? What I tell people is it really depends on your situation. Older does tend to be better mothers in that they are more successful at recruiting fawns into the fall deer population. So if you're in a situation where you are trying to grow a deer herd, or maybe you have really limited fawn recruitment, um, in those cases, there's actually value in trying to target younger deer as opposed to, to older does. However, most hunters in the United States are in a situation where, you know what, we need to reduce deer herds. Deer herds are in balance with what the habitats can support or above that. And in those cases, taking the mature or the oldest does often provides a lot of benefit. So, but ultimately how you make this decision in the field, I tell people is take a shot at a deer that is providing you know, the best ethical shot that you can. And if it's a group of does, I tell folks, hey, take the largest doe in the group. One, this ensures that it is an adult and not a fawn. Two, it provides the most venison for your freezer. And then three, this helps ensure that you are harvesting across all the age classes because the largest deer isn't necessarily the oldest. I have seen two and three year old does win big doe contests because just like people, some tend to be smaller, some tend to be larger. So if you're trying to figure out how can I tell an older doe from a younger doe, check out our video on identifying antlerless deer in the field. We go through all the behavioral and body characteristics on how to identify fawns from young does from older does to be able to help you make better hunting decisions in the field this fall.